The Wellness Show, Episode 23. Welcome to The Wellness Show, a podcast on health and wealth. I'm your host, Tyson Bannigan, the founder of the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy. Join me as we get the latest insight, tips, and strategies from wellness providers, coaches, and successful heart-centered entrepreneurs, and much, much more. So welcome to the Wellness Show. I'm very excited to have on the call today, Diane Clem, and she's with the Healing Arts Finder, and she's going to talk all about this idea that she has to build a community where people can find solutions to what's happening in their life. And so rather than me reading from what she's telling me, I'm going to ask her directly. So Diane, tell me about this community that you're building. Well, it all started from an idea where going through my own journey of health and discovery, I realized that being unwell is an isolating experience. You also are maybe embarrassed about being depressed, having anxiety, and you feel like, you know, you need to figure this out on your own. You're not going around to people saying, I got this wrong, I got that wrong. And if you do, people don't want to hear it. Right. So it's a lonely world. Yeah. yeah. So then also um, in this, I would say, tenure of figuring out what energy is, what all these different healing modalities are, there was a big learning curve. Um, I didn't realize that say aromatherapy could trigger certain neuroprocessors to for pain relief or i didn't realize that say crystals could attune your energy fields so that you can start triggering your body's own healing benefits and then i thought wouldn't it be great if you can go to one place to search for Whatever it is you're looking for, be it depression, anxiety, maybe ADHD. Like, you know, nowadays, chronic illness and mental illness is on the rise. Absolutely. People, there's so many people that are suffering, and I figured, what can I do? So I created this portal, this tool, coming from the layperson, because in discussions with people out there, people don't know what chakras are. That's, that's a language, that's lingo, that's far-fetched. Mm -hmm. So I've tried to build a site which brings clarity to the esoteric healing services. It's making health, the journey to health attainable. And all you have to do is search by your issue and Locally, you're the it's mapped out by um, geolocation listings. So then you can search by, say, in your neighborhood, say in a 10-kilometer uh, radius, you can find practitioners that are willing and excited to help you. That sounds great. So also, there's also another... Um, essence which cultivated from this idea talking to practitioners they were really excited about this idea because they're not being found and heard these practitioners have their own healing journey that they've been on their own discovery they've discovered tools to help themselves and they in turn want to help others so I feel that practitioners are really coming from, you know, a heart-based business. They are answering this need. In a sense, there's this essence of people are calling for help. And we have these, these great leaders in the health field that are answering that call. They are focused on their passion, their business, their health they don't understand marketing. 
um, they market well amongst themselves. I find that um, dabbling now in the practitioner field, making contacts, talking to them, I realize they really congregate in groups of say the energy workers work together, the body workers work together, the naturopaths, they don't commingle and commix. So they market well to each other. They forget that, hey, wait a minute, I'm the customer over here and I want help. Uh, and they forget to, to market to the customer. Right. So in a sense, this portal makes, brings clarity to their services and gives them a voice so that they can, ha they have the platform so that they can be found with their healing services. And now the customer can find them. So you got at this because of your own wellness journey. That's one part of it, but also you're bringing to this, your whole set of skills in uh, web design and, and other skills. Is that correct? Yes. So what sort of background do you have? You're a web designer, you're a graphic artist, and uh, what sort of things have you done in that area? Uh, for 10 plus years, I've been a software developer. And through that stress of in working in industry, um, that's how I came to realize that I needed more too from just being in the corporate realm. I needed more. I wanted... I wanted to use my skills to fundamentally make a difference. And I really feel like this opportunity that I saw really honed everything in. I'm also um, a data analyst. Um, I have a background in business administration. So I was always on the entrepreneur journey looking for opportunities. Right. So what a nice combination. I agree with you wholeheartedly and the community of like-minded people that I invite on this radio show are heart-centered entrepreneurs, wellness providers, you know, people like that to, that really, as you say, have been on their own journey of wellness and now want to help other people. But don't come with a set of skills, like you say, just don't know how to do the marketing, don't even know how to set up the website. Social media is something like some sort of foreign language. So helping people be the best that they can be and actually get out of their own ways is certainly one of my passions as a coacher and a mentor and a shaman. But I do find that it's really a tough group to work with because they're so individualistic. And these are all so brand new ideas to get them to actually fill out the forms and do the background work, to get you the information to put it up. I think sometimes it's not a very easy thing, is it? Well, I think when people are confronted with the task to talk about themselves, to articulate what it is that they do, it it's almost a scary endeavor. And it makes you realize that, you know, in business, you need to have a clear vision. What is it that you do so that you can attract that and sell that? So in a sense, the process of the practitioner sitting down, understand what it is they want to do, um, what is that they're offering to clients, I think helps them with their business ultimately. Oh, absolutely. If you don't know who your market is, how do you even know if you're reaching them? So yeah, you're absolutely right. The other part that I really love, it, which really gets me excited, because I like to think that this show that I'm doing, the wellness show, is reaching Joe and Martha average. And that, you know, those are the people, like you say, that are out there, they, maybe they had a health crisis in their life, they're looking for alternatives, they're sort of at the end of the rope, they've exhausted everything, and sometimes really financially, they're really down and out because they've tried everything, and now they're gonna try alternatives, but where do they start? I mean, there's just this smorgasbord out there of infinite possibilities, and how do they sort through that? And you providing this service is a real gift because they're going to be able to say, oh, I can relate to that person or that sounds like something that I could use or that's a great idea. So, yeah, I think it really is going to help bridge that between the client's needs and the practitioner. So you're doing both sides of the fence. 
Yeah, that is my vision to to bridge the world because as a user of holistic services, I guess making that step to choose holistic, it's in a sense it's a long journey because it's it's hard to understand when you don't know the fundamentals of I guess the mind body connection Absolutely. and how important it is to to just have awareness and be in your body. So many people are living detached from their body just because it's it's a painful experience to live in it. And to make holistic health more understandable at a just a, a benefits and core issues um, aspect, I think, kind of helps people navigate that world. Absolutely. And you're, in my work, I've found that most people are not in their body. Whether it's the stress of the way that we live, our cultural beliefs, or whatever, the whole expression that I feel like I'm beside myself, we use that all the time, which means we're not in our body. We're literally over there, outside of ourselves, freaking out somehow. Because as you say, it's too painful. It's too scary, too overwhelming mm -hmm. for lots of people to be in their body. So helping people re-embody themselves to show up and be present in the now moment instead of worrying about the past or worrying about the future, it's really difficult. And there, there's not a lot of places that people can go to learn how to do this. Yes, there's meditation, and there's those sorts of things, which are all yoga, which are all well and good if you're well. But if you're already having disorder or disease or stress, you're not going to be that excited about those sorts of things. You're wanting to do the de-stress or deal with the pain. That's the first goal, right, is to, is to get your life calmed down. And so that's why having the practitioners available so I noticed you have some posters on the wall there. So what's, is that part of the, what you're doing? Yeah. Um, what I'm doing also is for those practitioners that sign up, I'm giving them some promotion material so that when a visitor comes to visit, be it in their clinic or whatever, they can display some posters that they're, you can find them on the Healing Arts Finder. So oh. they're, they're just talking about, you know, um, find relief from unresolved emotional pain, you know, alternative practitioners treat the root cause of disease. They're just little um, captions to get people thinking about, you know, what's this all about? That's great. So they could use that on social media, I would think, too. Yeah, yeah. And then every practitioner that signs on, they get their own custom profile page with all their attached listings on that and listings being specific modalities that they um, do work in. So for example, if I did five different modalities, I could have five different listings if I paid for them. Right. Right. right yeah. yeah. So what I'm doing is I'm separating everything out because when somebody's looking for say yoga, they're not looking for meditation right. and it also boosts your, I'm going to talk some, techie talk but it, it boosts your seo yes. and search ranking google ability so if you have more pages that are for specific subjects google ranks on a per page basis so say if you had your profile and five listings you have the potential for being ranked six times so, so you would you take up the whole take articles from uh, practitioners as well and are you going to help with SEO and ranking that way as well? Yeah, the listings are all um, keyword SEO enriched. Yeah. And if practitioners need help on their website, because since I have, you know, those technical abilities, I can help them with maybe print media advertising, um, website development, um, re-optimizing their own if they have an existing website. So, yeah, I feel like, I've got these skills that they need. I'm here to help. Well, that sounds great. So any of you out there in the, the, the wellness show land that are practitioners listening to this show, then this is the go-to person to help you do the background work uh, to get your website SEO uh, 
perfectly set up and reach the audience you want, and also to get listed, right? To come to you and get listed uh, in the directory. Now, it seems like you have a great focus around the fact that it's geographical or geolocation as part of it. That means that you're going to have to take this thing province-wide, uh, global-wide, eventually. Yeah, I, I'm focusing right now locally, building my own town, because I want to do the best you know, service that I can town by town and grow that. And I'm, practitioners that are already signed up, they're already getting customers. I'm seeing some people that, you know, people are desperate and looking for something. It's times are like never before. More people are just despondent and desperate and looking for help. And it's so great that I am affecting positively my own hometown. So I, yeah, I plan, I mean, and also I'm looking for, you know, support and advocates to grow this website. And I also started up an affiliate program so that people who refer um, new members will Mm -hmm. get up to 30% commissions. And also, you know, to join the website, it's really super affordable. Like, can you afford $60 a year? I think I could do that, yeah. Yeah, so it's it's super affordable. I'm really practically giving my services away. I'm, I'm concerned that, you know, can I just keep the site up and running and maintainable? Because I want to make this service attainable for everybody. Because I know practitioners, they they may not have the big, great, big budget to, you know, focus on marketing and advertising. So really, my costs are just, you know, the costs of running, you know, an optimized um, enterprise website. Well, you know, maybe we can work on that too. I mean, my my client base sometimes doesn't have a lot of money to pay for my services, so. I'm developing the expertise in the back end to uh, raise their prosperity level so that they can afford to hire me to do the deeper work that's necessary to free them up. So maybe that's really what we have to do uh, with practitioners and wellness providers is provide them the opportunity so that they have a can raise their set point financially, right, and allow them to reach more clients and have more abundance in their life and I think that, you know, that's one of the things I've found in working in that community is that we're so busy helping everybody else and giving, 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 that we really haven't learned very well how to receive. And it's the receiving and, and allowing ourselves to be paid for um, the abundance that we deliver into the world is part of the equation that a lot of us are still struggling with. So I love to help work with that so that your future is as bright as it can possibly be as well, because you're providing a service for humanity, not just for yourself, not just for the wellness providers. So it seems to me that if you could get this all together, and there's no reason why you can't, you've got a franchise here. Once you, if you document how you do this, and you figure it out in a clear way, then it can be go to every community, everywhere, and be replicated. And to me, that's the exciting part, you know, that helps birth a new, a new world or a new era uh, of wellness and why not i mean it's mm-hmm. why not have that vision one step at a time starting with your own community that's pretty yeah great. and i do feel that in order for this to grow successfully there needs to be advocates in every community to spread the word and help grow this site Also, what I've been doing in my own community is I've been organizing um, holistic practitioners meet and greets and giving the opportunity for practitioners to network with each other and to realize that, you know, it's not about competing. It's about my, my true fundamental belief is that it takes a community to heal a community. We're all in this together. Even practitioners need healing like self-healing. So, you know, open up the opportunity for trades and supporting each other. That's a great idea. So do you have sponsors yet? 
sponsors? Yeah, what like do you corporate mean? sponsors have you gone to? So some of the bottling companies have high quality water or um, other, you know, companies and said, hey, this is a project I'm doing. It really needs to be financially supported. You know, you have a high quality product here that could um, be promoted and uh, be a corporate sponsor. That's a great idea. I haven't even thought of that. Well, let's work on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's coach. lots of ways. I can't help play coach. I mean, because I'm excited. You know, if I get excited, then I get these ideas because, you know, this, mm -hmm. uh, this is the work that I do too. So, yeah, why not corporate sponsors? And, and to me, the wellness show uh, is part of all what you're doing. So why don't we, you know, make this part of getting the word out to everybody, to all the wellness providers and heart-centered entrepreneurs. So this is a project with bringing to your community. That's really exciting for me. So, for sure. And I think that's another key, heart-centered entrepreneurs that yeah, sign me up for that. Yeah, let's line you up with that, right? Let's let, make that happen in your life so that you can be your own heart-centered entrepreneur. You can be your own philanthropist. That You can make your own donations to the charities you want to support. Absolutely. We live in an abundant yeah. world. Why can't we have abundance in our life? Of course we can. It's our birthright. So mm -hmm. how do people get hold of you and how do they get involved? Well, on the website, it's healingartsfinder.ca. Contact me there. I also have a Facebook page, Healing Arts Finder. And I'm always reachable and ready to talk so and excited home, to help in any way that I can. your hometown? Where are you doing this first? Vernon, BC. Right. So, which is not that far from Kelowna, right? The fastest growing uh, metropolitan area in all of Canada, right? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, you have a great bank of people to draw on that will need your services, and that's a great place to start. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, and I think, you know, there's there's a lot of people in this community that that can benefit from this, and I think it's a it's time to help with the awakening process. Absolutely. So, seeing as you were on your own personal journey of wellness, and this is um, you know for the average person out there in wellness land who's looking for the solution, what sort of tips do you have because you've been down that path uh, and somebody who's about to start I think, with us. I think start with trying to get help. Ah, reach right. Just, just asking questions. Why, um, why is this happening and how, how can I get better? What do I need to do to get better to explore your emotions and to realize that emotions are just information um, and realize you're not alone. Everybody gets depressed. Everybody gets angry and, and don't be so hard on yourself. Absolutely. I think everybody is so hard on themselves and everybody is just looking for a glimmer of happiness and just making that choice that says, okay, I choose happiness that begins the journey. I yes. choose health. That it begins begin, the journey. It begins the journey to wellness. Wow. It was great having you on this show. I love what you're doing. I'm there for you in this sense of helping promote this. And all you practitioners that are listening to the show, this is the get-to person to get hold of to get your SEO up and to reach your client base and to take your message further into the world. So thank you ever so much for showing up. This was a great pleasure and all the best. And like I said, I'm in this project with you. So I'm a sponsor. So we're going to get it done. Sounds great. All right. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. For quality online wellness products, courses, and services, visit our sponsors, thewellnessstore.ca and the Extraordinary Healing Arts Academy located at thewellnessacademy.ca. To stay in touch, visit us at thewellnessshow.ca. And until next time, be healthy, wealthy, and wise.